Pat, in um, all the test match wins you've been a part of, where does that one rank? Is it number one? Number one, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, start of an Asher series, number one. Was there any point there where you were actually confident that you were definitely going to be able to pull it off until you know, the winning runs were actually hit? Um, probably when we got down to about 10 or so, I thought, or maybe 16 or something, we needed like two runs and over and I felt pretty confident, but... It felt like from almost the first session of day one, it was 50-50 the whole way along. Like it just it never felt like it swung too far one way or the other. And I reckon that was the same until about, yeah, 15, 20 minutes ago. It just felt 50-50 the whole match. Excellent. James, uh, coach, can you just get the mic to James at the front there? Sorry. Thank you. Ben, Pat was just talking about how a win like that can give huge belief. Con conversely, how, how do you feel and how much of a psychological blow is that? Uh, no, it's not a psychological blow at all. I mean, obviously, we're, we're sat here an hour after the, the game, which we've lost. So, you know, it's obviously very disappointing. Um, but I think if you look at the way in which we played over the last five days compared to sort of how... You know, Reese, the sort of last few Ashes series have gone. Um, it proves that what we're we're capable of doing against Australia. Um, you know, the way in which we, we applied ourselves from literally from ball one. Um, you know, it proves that we're able to stand up to Australia um, in the way in which we want to play. Uh, it was a big question before coming into the series about are we able to to still continue with the style of play against you know such a good Australian team and. You know, even though we're on the, the, the wrong end of the result here, um, I think it proves that we literally went toe-to-toe -to -toe throughout the whole game against Australia. So we've got four games left, um, and that's what we're going to be concentrating on. A lot will be made of the declaration, which was typically aggressive on day one. If, if you had that time again, would you still do it? Declare? Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm a, I'm a captain and a person who's seen that as an opportunity to pounce um, on Australia. You know, no opening batsman likes to go out for, for 20 minutes before the close of play. And the way in which we played uh, and took Australia on actually allowed us to be able to do that. Um, and, you know, I could also turn around and say if, if we didn't declare, would we have got that excitement that we did at the end of day five? I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, I'm not going to be looking back on this game as, you know, what ifs. You know, we, there's so many things that happened throughout the five days which we could look back on and say if that went our way could this game have been different but um, the, the reality is that you know we just didn't manage to get over it.